Hello guys, peace of the Lord with everyone. We are going to show you another uh, stupid mistake of the Quran. This is Surah 37 verse number 6 and here it says, We have indeed decked the lower heaven with the beauty in the stars. Now in here the translation is not correct, but they are saying it is the stars. You know why? Because they want to cover a huge mistake in this verse. Now, what this Surah is talking about verse number six verse number seven verse number eight if you read them all together you will see for the beauty and for guard against the obstance rebellious evil spirit so those who he is talking about he decked the lower heaven with they are going to be used as guarding for guarding as security so they are the guard against the evil ones, the evil spirit, which means the Satan. And by the way, the translation of evil spirit is not accurate. And here it says, وَحَفَظْنَا مِنْ كُلِّ شَيْطَانٍ مَارِدٍ From every married shaitan, which means a huge uh, 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 shaitan, a genie shaitan. So, now, what is that will guard the sky from the Satan? If we go and see the other verse, we will know what is that. This is the verse. And by the way, it exists in many verses in the Quran. This story. Surah 67, verse number 5. And we have from of old adorned the lowest heaven with lamps. And we have made those lamps as missiles to drive the evil ones away. So now, who is and what is those uh, 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 lamps? They are the missiles. What is the missiles? They are the lamps. Now, what the lamps will use for? To guard. To guard what? To guard the lowest heaven. From what? From the evil ones. Which who? Which means is a Satan. Now, read with me in here. We have indeed decayed the lower heaven with the beauty in the stars this is their translation and I will show you why they make it a stars for the beauty and for guard against obstance abstain rebellious evil spirit so the guard is the lamps and what is the lamps it is the stars because the planets are not stars right planets are not stars and they are not lamps nobody can call planets as a sta or stars or lamps. Now, the reason they translate this one here as a stars in English for you because they want to fool you. Why? Because the word in here is not stars; it is Arabic. Just to cover a huge mistake in the Quran, because if this is talking about stars, as you see, lamps, you cannot say kawakib. You see the word kawakib. If we go to Google Translation. And we put the word Al Kawakib there. Al Kawakib or Kawakib is going to be planets. If you take Al out, which means that you translate, is going to be planet without the S, which means one planet. So why Muslims? Actually, it's going it's still Kawakib means many planets. Sorry, Al Kawakib it's mean the ones we know. So why Muslims when you translate? The word kawakib or al kawakib, they are translating it as stars when it is mean planet. I don't know if the idea is clear. I will repeat once again. Here we go. This is the surah 37, verse number 6. It says, We have indeed decayed lower heavens with the beauty in the stars and by the way I can play an audio playing the verse reciting and you will see it's not stars it is kawakib kawakib you can go to any Muslim and ask him right away without telling him what you are talking about ask him kawakib mean what kawakib mean what if you do not know uh, how to spell it for him in Arabic you know I, I assume you don't know let me show you how you do it. This is Google. 
you know you can write it for him in English like this ka wa kib you see it ask him what this mean he will say to you right away it's mean a planet you ask him again are you sure it doesn't mean star he will say no way kawakib is planet nujum is a star so the reason for Muslims when they translate this as a star is because they want to cover the mistake of the Quran by calling the stars as kawakib and if the Muslims try to say you know what yes it says kawakib but it's not talking about stars you know you show him right away but it because it is saying in here وَحِفَاظًا مِنْ كُلِّ شَيْطَانٍ مَارِدٍ as a protection in every Satan and they will be shoot from every corner from every side now how they will shoot them and what will, will, will be shoot with the surah in here is saying clearly they are going to be shooted by the lamps and we have made such a lamps as missiles to drive away the evil ones not planets the lamps so when he say kawakib the one who made the Quran as you see the word kawakib he's making a huge mistake and this is why the Muslims try to fix this mistake by translation to fool you not to show how stupid he is because you know what if I am if I am a translator shouldn't I translate the words as it is you know if the word is saying planets why they are making it stars ask yourself there is no reason except lying to cover lies to cover mistakes in the Quran and you will see both surahs is talking about the same protection protection of God against the Satan to go out of the heaven you know we showed you in different videos that Muslims saying talking about the atmosphere etc you know this is a lie the Quran never mentioned the atmosphere the Quran is mentioning about protection of the heaven from inside for the Satan to go out not from outside not from anyone else not even from anything to go inside the atmosphere and there is no atmosphere in there it's about Satan he cannot go and spy at the heaven and by the way this is will show us that the story in the Quran about Satan going to heaven of God according to the Quran and misleading and deceiving Adam and Eve is a lie you know why because Allah he kicked out the Satan right away right away when he refused to bow down to Adam so Satan is out of the heaven now if Allah is saying in here he guard his heaven with the stars and missiles how the Satan was able to go in I made another video about this you can go and watch it this is another story but this is showing that the story of Adam and Eve you know according to Islam is just a stupid story because if Satan is out of the heaven because Allah kicked him away right away when he refused to obey God to bow down to Adam according to Quran Allah he ordered Satan to bow down to Adam Adam here is uh, uh, Satan he refused so he kicked him out now how Satan was able to go inside the heaven to mislead and deceive Adam and Eve when he is out and the heaven is guarded with all this protection sound the security alarm and the security system of Allah is so bad I advise him to go and get uh, some AWAX from America okay or maybe make one you know 31 from Russia will do better job thank you all God bless you